So the other day I got a message from a kind person who said, you should do this. It was a link to Foles like download stems to wash it off. Sounds like a fun idea. I can sort of imagine the meeting now. It's like, guys, I'm your A&R and I got an idea. Why don't we do a remix competition that isn't quite a remix competition. It's like, do it in your own time. You know, you can thank me later by nominating me for A&R of the year. And yeah, it's a cool idea. So the other day I downloaded the stems on my not computer and uh, yeah, they kind of sat there for a while. And then last night I was a little bored. I just plopped them onto this thing, which is the 4MS stereo triggered sampler. Ooh, ooh, put a donk on it and it's sorted, it's a remix. <laughs> and, and it's really good for like doing live remixes, which are quite chaotic in their creation because you don't really know what you're gonna be doing. And yeah, I do that quite a lot live because uh, yeah, most of my set is rather unpredictable, so you don't really know what you're gonna get. It might be good or it might be awful at like the time I covered Sandstorm in Amsterdam. Yeah, that was that's that's a that's a time I'd rather forget. So yeah, I've got the vocal samples just literally wired into the stereo triggered sampler and they're <laughs> So yeah, you know, you get the idea, and basically that's at 105 BPM, it's just, the song is at 105 BPM, so I'm gonna do it at 105, keep it simple. So the way I kinda like doing remixes is like not messing with the actual song, and kinda like just imagining the songs in a different reality, where the producer or somebody was like, pop down those guitars fellas, let's pick up grandpa's synthesizer. Or something like that, you know, you can imagine that the song is still there, it's not like gone all like I just kind of like playing the sample and just kind of like just playing an alternative backing track if you will. I've done it a few times and a few shows where I've just put a random stem on and they haven't gone so well and some of them have gone well. Anyway, basically I kind of started this morning and figured, yeah, there's probably something in this to kind of show you like doing a live remix and sort of what is going on. I'm sure there's people going to be like, just use a computer, use Ableton, use Logic, use a shh. This is more about a linear approach to remixing where you just start and you just go with the flow. It's not exactly gonna be a masterpiece, it's gonna be more like a disaster piece. You know, I'm not sitting forever going backwards and forwards on a thing kind of fine tuning, it's just going with the flow and just letting it be what it's gonna be and then just looking back and going, that was good or uh, maybe I won't upload that. <laughs> so yeah, I've got the stereo triggered sampler and I can actually start the stems of the different verses with uh, hitting this. It's just a bit bigger than just pushing that tiny little button. And then the other side is actually plugged up to my BeatStep Pro. So I can record in a sequence on my BeatStep Pro. <laughs> So that means you can record in a sequence and then mess around with the sequence over here. So the vocals and stuff are going to be largely unaffected. I'm just going to make a song underneath with the rest of the synthesizer. Bass line number one. Bass line number two. CR78 to add a little bit of retro feel. Ooh, yeah. Get rid of it, yeah. Right by voice. All the analog drum modules are down here and they sound like this. Cork MS-10 wired up for a nice noise. Cork MS-10 for nice melody. And to keep it simple, I've taped down these three notes on this synthesizer to make a... Yeah, very nice. So all in all, that's what I'm using for the live remix. I'm sequencing it on the Circlon. And yeah, I haven't really figured out an arrangement and stuff like that. So let's just uh, sort of see how it goes. <laughs> yeah, uh, well, I guess first we'll set the pace with a bit of CR78. We're back in 1978 doing the wiggly worm, but not for long. Here it goes. Short and can't be bored by the likes of me. I hope that it grows. 
what it is, and that's what it is. It's it's it, it, that happened. Yeah.